A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So unfortunately I had to go last time and the horde is now gone. But I mean it's already been almost two in-game hours so they should be coming again soon. I have no idea like when you re-log how long it takes in between for them to show up again. But yeah, I I'm just going to keep going from here. I actually have a lot of resources going. I made myself a scope for the sniper rifle. It's just easier shooting demons and stuff if you can zoom in on their faces. And then I'm making concrete blocks over here. We have cobble blocks on us. I want to do a little bit of building around the base. And I also actually want to see if we can't make ourselves like a ton of spotlights and stuff so we can see the demons easier. I also have to go and extend that wall over there so we're closer to them when they drop and can see them better. I actually have a, de a design in mind because remember, usually if you're standing over there, like even this thing over here, even just doing this, they can vomit at you. So I have a, de I have a design idea for over there that might just help us out in a situation like that. I'm hoping more zombies do show up because we definitely need more of those generic notes. Um, I have decided instead of using the notes, because remember we have seven seal points. I wanted to go and unlock the mechanic mastery because then that gives us an oil pump and it gives us the buggy and stuff. But if I can go for the farmer class and for the laborer class, the farmer class alone, I'll be able to plant more plants downstairs. Because remember that is a working farm down there. So I can take out everything I don't need and only put like tomatoes and blueberries. We'll be able to make ourselves more ink. And if we make more ink and we can just gather a few more of these notes over here at 60 per generic note. So I need 600 notes and I can make 10 skill points just like that. Then we can go and master mechanic class. Or if we're lucky like last time, last time we needed the science mastery and it dropped in a bag. So yeah, that was perfect. That was awesome. Um, I could also make the anti-rad pulls because I already have it... Uh, what do you call it? I already have it unlocked because of the mastery. I can make these, but I don't know if I want to go to the wasteland. If I go there and I die, I lose everything. But if I go there and I loot some stuff, it might be super worth it. So it's a it's a lose-lose or win-win, depending on how you look at it. I can easily now make pulls to go there, but the pulls only last that long and it's super, super dangerous. So as long as I don't have a ton of stuff on me, it shouldn't be an issue. But at the same time, I just, I really don't want to lose all my stuff again. I have died one too many times already. And a few times it's because of dumb mistakes. And then the one time because of the... When we went for that bookstore because of that uh, biker. That was just a BS death. But yeah, I really, really despite... Ooh, that was a lot of lag just now. But it's a quarter to 12, so it can't be a wandering horde. Um, also, as you guys can see, I've disconnected the house over here. So technically, the zombie shouldn't path into the house to get to me. I actually want to cave in the whole house and then make like a dome for him. Like even if it's like a hanging thing, like... But I, can't, I don't think you can place blocks underneath him, unfortunately. I might be able to upgrade the blocks underneath him and make it hang off my base. So basically, I want to remove him, detach him from the house and cave in the house. And then I'll be able to, from my position over here, just go down a ladder and talk to him. It's going to be way safer than going down there to talk to him at the moment. I also want to move this stuff around a bit because I still want to be able to, for now at least, do this. We talk to him, come back over here, just jump up, and we're inside our base. Although I can just easily jump over the wall over here. I'm just doing this to make sure the zombies can't see us from this side. And that the wandering horde doesn't try and vomit at my workstations over here. Because we have quite a bit of fuel crafting. I really don't want them vomiting at my workstation and destroying all the fuel. We're going to be super, super rich. It's about, yeah, 90... 95,000 fuel just from that 10,000 uh, ore that we mined. That's awesome. So that's that's the biggest reason as well why I'm not going for the mastery of the mechanic class. Because I wanted those oil pumps. But now we have fuel for days and months and weeks. Farmer class and laborer class. Last two classes. Boom. Okay, technically I can just put all my stuff away. And then grab everything out of my boxes. Because most of these are going to be like gather wood, gather resources. And we have all the resources. I also want to go and just add this over here. So it's easier for us to get down and up. And if a zombie tries to get up the ladder, they shouldn't be able to because I also now removed the wood of here. So now they have to jump two blocks to get to here. But I, I want to make sure the zombies can't make it up to me at all. I don't know why I ever made a ladder touch over there. That's why the titans were constantly pathing through trying to get up the ladder of here. Now that there's no other way up here except for using the stairs of here, I'm hoping they're more likely to do so. I'm also thinking of copying this design on the back as well. 
So it doesn't matter which side they come from, they'll have an option of going upstairs. I think that way we can actually prevent them from going for the walls and stuff. Especially with that hole in the back wall over there. That's going to be super, super dangerous for us. I want to remove this over here and actually make like a doorway with a hatch. So if a zombie somehow make it through while I'm over there dealing with them, um, yeah, we'll be able to deal with them as well. I'm just afraid that if I make a walkway on this side now to do that trick, when I'm there, they're not going to uh, feel like they can pass through this block to me. They might still be able to see it that way, but I'm just, I don't want to take any chances right now. Okay, the concrete should almost be done as well. See, they're still coming inside for whatever reason. I'm hoping she actually goes out and around. Because that means my design works. So she should have jumped off to go for the stairs. Yes, it worked. Awesome. See, because I detached the ladder over here, she just, uh, felt like the easiest way to get to me was to take this over here. Wait, is that block destroyed? Ooh, I just realized there was a block there usually and now it got destroyed. Not, it's a good thing I just noticed that because I was like, why is she running so far? She's not supposed to be able to run that far. Okay, we're just going to put this away. I'm going to use the cobble to make the rest of the wall and I'm going to use concrete to finish off where I'm standing. Uh, concrete is over there. I'm hoping the horde doesn't come right now, but even if the horde does come, we should be safe over here. I need to kill a few more zombies. Just to, One for the XP and two, I need more generic notes. The easiest way for me to level up right now and to get more loot, like really great loot, is just to kill all these wandering hordes. So the better I have this defense over here, the better for us. Our biggest problem at the moment is just going to be being out and about and facing wandering hordes. So I need to pay attention to the time they spawn in. And I need to pay attention to uh, when I kill them. Like, how much time do I have left? Because if a zombie spawns in, remember, it's from 6 to 12 hours. It spawns in, it takes me 3 hours to kill them. Now I only have a potential 3 hours left to do stuff. So if I see, ooh, it's not possible to kill them, I need to move on and do the next thing. I can't afford to waste time. And that there's a massive, massive hole over there. I'm kind of in danger over here. I'll quickly destroy this. What the hell? There you go. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's from her. She dropped two coil guns just now. What? That weak lady dropped two coil guns. Okay, so... Oh, on the one hand, I actually want to keep this over here. The spotlight over here is working at the moment. And this one. So I'll have to put a corner block in over here. It feels so weird being able to fall and jump and place blocks and stuff. For those of you guys wondering what I mean, in Ravenhurst, if you jump like this and place a block, or if you even do a place a block while falling, it actually goes and deletes that block because it's anti-nerd pull. So even though you're not trying to nerd pull, if the game thinks you're trying, it says, nope, sorry, too bad for you. I want to put concrete on top of that because that's going to be our most powerful block. Every now and then I should probably also just put a iron block or two in, or iron pillar or two in to make sure that it actually carries the weight. Drone, I know you want attention, but please wait. Okay, this has to keep going. Until, yeah. Boom. Oh, I just felt a bit of stutter, but it's quarter two. I think most of the times, almost every single time so far, the Wandering Horde has spawned in like on the hour. Not like half past one or half past two. It's like two o'clock, three o'clock. It spawns in on the hour, so it's, it's a little bit safer for us that way. So what I want to do... Okay, I'm going to remove this block over here. I want to do this. So we're going to be making use of the one block trick. But I want to show you guys this. I don't want to be standing over there. I'm going to be standing over here. I need to be careful of the ones that can vomit over there. But basically, I just want to be... I, I want to make this a ramp block so we can see down at the floor. And as they fall, we'll be able to snipe them from over here. Do I have the auger? I think I put the auger on you. Yes. It's nice to actually get my sniping practice in like this. Every now and then I see a zombie, I try and snipe it, and then hopefully I can kill it. Well, then you be careful. If I jump out like this and a wandering horde spawns in while I'm out, um, yeah, that's going to suck. Oh, I wonder if I still want to keep this in over here to be able to get in and out. Or if I should put a ladder so I can go up to the top. It's probably going to be best just going all the way to the top, so I should put a ladder somewhere. I also want to replace these wooden blocks with, like, actual blocks, like so. Um, This needs to be filled in all the way. Yeah, all the wood over here is also going to have to be just reduced to rubble. Oh, what I wanted to do is, I actually wanted to grab some steel. Then I saw that zombie and I had to jump down for this bag. 
I'm going to grab some steel over here because I want to upgrade that block that they're supposed to fall down on. So do this. Uh, do that. It's almost 4 a.m. So it's going to be an hour on the dot. So we have to be careful of anything spawning in right now. I also have to still go make this pillar underneath steel. So far, though, it's been holding. But only so far. So we do this. Copy shape. Copy rotation. I made it one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I want to make sure they have enough time to turn and then fall down over here. And then we're going to make this steel. This steel. And unfortunately, I don't have any concrete. Oh, I do have. Okay, I didn't think I had concrete on me, but I need to make sure that this is concrete so they don't break these blocks as easily. I still have to go do replacements and repairs and stuff at the bottom, but I think I used up all of my iron. Wait, why is there so much damage over here? There's a lot of damage over here. I'm not sure where it's coming from. Yeah, there's, there's not supposed to be that much damage over here. I'm so confused right now. Okay, anyways, copy shape, copy rotation, head height, I want to do this. And then leg height. I thought the drone moving just down the corner of my eye was zombies. I was like, oh, oh. Okay, I still have to do the, the wall on this side. Because if I'm crouching over here, they can still vomit at me from the back. So for now, I should probably just do this. So I can hide without them seeing me. Although I have to be careful. If they see you from like a corner block or something, you're screwed. Zombies can see through like a... a say for example, that block's not there. Like this one over here is not here. They can see through that corner block and vomit at you. It has to be a full block, full block, and then full block on top, but then that's not going to matter. So I'm basically going to be standing over here, shooting down, sniping down at them as they fall. But I need to make it so that they don't see me from that side. And at the moment, that's not going to work that well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, nope. This over here, the zombies can't vomit through this. Or well, these explosions can't go through, so I wonder if vomit can go through. Uh, but I just have to be careful if I do this, because I won't be able... To shoot through as well. Basically, uh, at, at the moment, if I shoot like this, I'm going to be hitting this pillar. I have to shoot right through the hole as well. I'm just hoping this will stop their vomit from hitting me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put another block or two over there. And then on this side, I'm going to crouch out quickly and do something on that side. Let's put first, we're going to do a copy shape. We're going to go for a plate shape. We're going to go for on-face rotation, and we're going to place it right there. Now if we go in a copy shape, copy rotation, oh, when the other one was still there, I can actually do it like so, and I'll be able to snipe outside while they, um, while that's protecting me over there. I'm actually also thinking of putting another one over here, this side, upright, like so. so basically the top part's gonna be like a crisscross, yep. They should not be able to hit me through that. Especially with fireballs. And then I'll be able to shoot down at them like that while I'm being protected over here. Technically, I could just block this off completely. I can't see them, but as they fall, I can see them. I should have just done that from the start. <laughs> Why? Look, it's going to be nice being able to see them, but if the vomit and stuff goes through, I'm dead. And then I lose everything on me. So I wonder if I shouldn't just replace that with an actual block. But for that to happen, we're going to have to go and do this. I can't believe I didn't think about that sooner. So basically, all I have to do is destroy this. But this has to be a full block. The reason for that being, remember what I said, uh, zombies can see through half blocks and under a full block. Anything under a full block counts as like a block that the zombies can x-ray through. So if I don't do that, if I don't add a solid block over there, they'll be able to see through it easily. At the moment, the zombies will still be able to vomit from over there and yeah, all over. But at least if I'm standing over here, there's more likely a chance for me to hit them. I wonder if I shouldn't make this upright. It'd be easier for me to hit them. So we'll take this one out. See, if I do that, I'm missing. But if I go for the pillar itself, that's what makes this block so nice. Okay, so I have to go for the upright version. Advanced. Like so. Again, I just realized I placed this block over here. I should probably put one upside down. The whole goal of this was if something climbs to, tries to climb the ladder, you copy this rotation, you put it over the hatch, and you can just stand on top and shoot down at them. But now that the hatch is over here, I can remove this. And then we need more cobble right now to be able to fill in that whole gap over there. I basically want to put a wall around this whole place so nothing can see me from outside. Obviously, any zombies going through the place will still be able to see me. 
And I might actually want to keep a hole or two here and there so the zombies can actually pass through. If something lands inside of here, it needs to be able to go out without getting stuck. And at the moment, me doing this... Yeah, I should probably just leave a gap like this. Or like this. Then I can take this out of here, and then if a zombie makes it up here or whatever, they'll run up the stairs, they'll go over here, and they'll jump down and go over there. That's the whole goal, a goal for now. Also, let me just quickly grab some gas. I'm going to take out this block, grab gas and fill up my vehicle, and then we also have to start doing the class quests. Also, I put this over here, so we need to make another hatch. Basically, if a zombie makes it through over here while I'm standing there, they have to break two hatches down. And if I can get some steel soon, I'll be able to make myself some vault hatches. Okay, I'll have to make sure to keep the auger on here. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally, accidentally have, like, really awesome loot on me. Obviously, the spear and stuff, if that goes, that's going to be unfortunate. Probably also have some drinks over here in case I set myself alight. In darkness falls, fire kills. I mean, obviously, fire kills, but it kills fast. So if you're not careful, uh, yeah, you have a problem. I actually filled up my bike just now as well. And then when I, the, I put the blue die, we actually had a pink bike. Or a purple bike. I like my blue. So before 7, let's just do that. And make sure we just park this over here. Just a little bit out of the way, because I don't want any zombies smacking this wall to try and go for me. Ooh. Now I just realized that still has to be filled in over there. Hopefully they're less likely to try and break in now, because they can't make it to me unless they go up the stairs. The whole point of this design was to make sure that even the bigger ones, like the titans and stuff, feel like, oh, why am I doing this? There's no point. Let me just go around. Okay, do that. Tools, we'll put this away. Five slots locked. Yep. Okay. And then over here, we have this hatch that I'm going to put in on this side. We have to make sure that all of the defenses over here are steel. Like, this walkway needs to be steel. Everything over here needs to be steel. The hatches need to be steel. This way, we don't have to worry too much about all the zombies and stuff doing damage. Just don't tell me it's going to be like a super long time before I get a Wandering Horde again. The longer it takes for the Horde to show up, the less I can actually get done. Because I have to wait for them to come before I can actually do anything else. While we wait, though, let's quickly see if we can't do some quests. Farmer class. Golden Rod. Oh, there's a lot of farming. Oh, let's just see if we can't do this one first. So first things first, grab some wood. Now, gather building blocks. Oh, gather. That's nice. We don't know. Okay, I'm still going to gather about 100. 116. Basically, I want to make sure that I have blocks on me, 50, and about 100 that I need to place. Now, basically, what it's going to ask me is to go and uh, go over here and just place the blocks. So the rest of this, I'll have to upgrade with cobble. But once again, we don't really have cobble. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. We have a ton of stone. Oh, yeah. It's because I went mining for the oil shale. You don't just get the um, oil shale. You get a ton of stone while mining. That's awesome. So I can make a ton of cobble over here now. At least a thousand. And a thousand on me. And I need to place the 100 shapes quickly, just in case it uh, requires me to craft the cobble. If it requires me to craft it, then basically I, sh I should have waited until I have the blocks placed, and it actually asks me, because otherwise it's going to finish, and then I have to craft even more. The nice thing is the next quest is probably going to be to upgrade... No, it's scrap iron tools. Okay, so iron. I have to grab off a stack. Leather. At least we have a ton of leather and stuff, so even though I have been losing items, I've been more or less keeping everything that I've had. Even this over here. Boom, boom. I knew to keep that because I knew I was going to need it later. Only thing is... Okay, yeah, we do have duct tape. I think the Wandering Horde just came through. Let me just quickly go and kill a Horde. Hey, a footsteps downstairs and I think it just turned an hour. Yep, it just turned eight. Wandering Horde has parked behind us. Oh, they're all fall- No, 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 no. They're all falling to that hole over there. That's not good. And the moment I start shooting you, all these zombies will come for me. I need to kill all the radiators and tough ones. So I just have to focus on the demons when they come for me. See, the moment... Yeah, they're already starting to slide towards my side right now. 
Come on. Boom. I need to put more mods on this or spec more into the sniper rifle. And then, did I put a silencer? Can't remember. Did I put a silencer on my coil rifle? If I did, I might be able to snipe them from over here. I need to be careful. There is a lady downstairs that can vomit at us. All those ladies down there actually can vomit at us, so we have to be careful. This does not have a... Okay, so I'm going to put the silencer on there for now. If I can snipe them one shot with this, that's going to solve our problem. Okay, I should probably also have put the... Okay, I'm just going to have to fight them over here. I should have gone and put the, uh, the scope on this as well. So for now, it doesn't matter if it's silenced or not, because the zombies are going to appear anyways. I'll just put that on there. My senses have picked up something. Oh, I don't have any water. Oh, I do have water on me, just in case. I thought I saw movement over there just now. Okay, so, um, yeah, this should be done. Oh, quill pistol. Yes, my favorite weapon. And be careful that there's no more zombies in the hole over there. Or some demons sleeping around the corner over here. Come on, treasure map. Where's the skill points? Since there were no behemoths this time, the, the loot itself is not that epic. More treasure maps. Awesome. These treasure maps do actually come in handy because you can get some really great loot from them. Cash, ammo, guns, depending on your game stage. And since we have these glasses, we should be able to get some really great loot. I'm actually thinking of going to do some scout quests because we can get double or triple rewards right now. I need to fill in all the holes over here. I also want to pick up or just dismantle all these corpses. Because if I can dismantle all these corpses, we'll be able to get a lot of bones and stuff. And then also, remember what I said, these corpses get in the way. So if you walk over them, this is me running. The moment you touch them, you slow down so much. One, it adds to the game, or the, the heat map of the game state. Yeah, adds to the heat map for more screamers show up. And two, it just slows you down, so it's really, really bad for you over here. What was this? I can't remember actually caving anything in over here, so I don't know why. Oh, it's from an explosion. Okay, I need to make this whole walkway concrete. This is also me shooting at the zombies and missing, and I'm doing damage as well. But they also do quite a bit of damage to the block itself. Still can't believe I let it explode. I have to make sure I'm always, always, always reloaded. Locked and ready. Okay, put these away. And just harvest. No, it's still growing. Wow, my stamina is insanely low right now. Ooh, I'm actually really glad I didn't throw this forge away. Next quest says gather forge. Remember that I just had to look because I couldn't remember where I put it. That in the corner. So I have to go upgrade all of the stuff over here. 5 out of 5 craft forge. So labor is done. 
Now we can go put points. Now we have 13 points. Wait, how much did I level up just now? Since when did I have 13 points? I have no idea how I leveled up that fast just now. I didn't have 13 points. I should actually go back and look, uh, look at the recording because I think this bar was shooting up because of all the demon kills. Okay, anyways, since we have 13 kills, we can actually now go for Master Mechanic. And we can go for, like, the Farmer Class and stuff over here. Although we should probably just go through the Farmer Class quest quickly. I uh, should probably also be able to make myself a proper drone too. Lord's Map. Do this one. You can actually, I think, read this one again. But you have to wait a bit, otherwise it's going to give you the exact same location. You don't want to waste any points. Yeah, we are so encumbered. I have to make sure we drop all of the stuff first. Food salad. Or fruit salad, not food salad. Okay, also guys, remember, you have to get your game stage up by eating uh, vitamins and foods and also like beer and stuff. At the moment, we're capped at 301 though, because we have to go into the future technology class and go for the nanite option, I think. To be able to unlock like 400 stamina and health. So at the moment, we're capped. There's nothing else we can do right now. Which, I mean, isn't really a bad problem to have. We maxed out at 300, which means even after that death, we recovered, we rebounded really quickly. See, this, this one over here shoots insanely fast. The shotgun, you have to be up close and personal, but with this pistol, as long as you put the field heat mod on there and stuff like that, you can shoot incredibly fast. And since it has range to it, unlike the shotgun, you can shoot enemies from super, super far away. That's usually my go-to uh, quail weapon to use. That's awesome. Okay, tools will just drop over here. We'll drop this over here. Food. Okay, we have a ton of cobble as well that I put on this for safety. So we can now use these. Oh, I need way more uh, ammo. Did I get any quail ammo? No, but we have a ton of... Uh, Quail pistol ammo. See, at the moment we need more quail 7.62 rounds because we're going to need to be able to use that sniper rifle. Although any quail weapon works. You just want to shoot them once to disable their regen. That's awesome. Okay, gather goldenrod flower. Please tell me I have everything over here. Yucca fruit. Uh, that's grilled yucca. Nope, I'm going to have to go grab that it seems. It should be easy enough. Uh, you can either go to the desert biome or... Did I really not grab any? You can go to the desert biome, or you can just uh, walk around over here because you do see them all over the place. That's probably also radiated. There's a treasure map over there. See, I want to go do scout quest, but I'm a, I have a feeling his scout quest is all going to be over there. So I have to go to Rekt or Jen. Rekt is too far down, so I'll go for, to, uh, for Jen's quests. Yucca fruit, yucca fruit. I could have sworn we had more yucca fruit. Did I put it in the wrong chest or something? That's all healing. I think it's supposed to look like this, right? And since I don't see any normal looking like this, we're going to have to go look for it. I think for now, though, let's just go and grab this. And grab some wood. Over here. Wood, 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 wood. Boom. And then I'm going to quickly go upgrade all of the walls over here. I want to make sure that we don't have to worry about a thing when it comes to, like, zombies and stuff. Do I have concrete on me? Nope. I want to make sure I don't accidentally waste all my concrete on the wall right now. I think for the last blocks, uh, for the wall, I'll just actually make cobble. Since we have so much cobble right now, we can easily just make a ton of cobble blocks. And since we have so much more clay and stuff, I can make even more. Um, although I do need to see, I should probably see if I don't have a hill or something close by, but everything's pretty flat. Perhaps over there. I need to go dig up a ton of clay and then I want to fill in this hole over here so the zombies don't do the same that they just did. You saw how many zombies actually made it inside. I could just fill it up with wooden frames. And then the top one I can just upgrade. I think that should, uh, that should work as well. I'm going to use my auger after a horde and just go chop down that whole thing over there as well. That whole brick. Well, not whole brick. What's that? The stone foundation. The stone pillar over there. I'm going to go break down. Because with uh, the amount of stone we can get from that, we just need a little bit more clay. And we'll be able to make tons and tons and tons of cobble blocks. I want to be able, like I said, to go and fill up this whole place. If possible, I actually want to fill up this whole area. Like the whole circumference of the uh, is this circumference sometimes i have to uh, translate stuff made basically from corner to corner to corner to corner i want to fill in this whole area with frames uh, or blocks so the zombies are less likely to break into the blocks and more likely to go for the staircases i provide the only problem is going to be the farm down there especially since if i uh, make massive pillars there won't be enough sunlight on the farm i have to think about that as well or i could just make another farm on top of here 
So basically, I'll be able to walk all over here on a flat surface up here, and the zombies will only be able to reach me. Another wandering horde. At eight. Plus six. Yeah, that's 14. Master, we are not alone. Damn. This is early. This is too early. Um, I have to grab a pistol. Let me actually grab the pistol over here. I can't believe it's this early. Damn. Okay, that. And we have to grab some ammo. And we have to grab some quill ammo. They showed up way too early. We barely had a wandering horde and now we have another one. Okay, first I need to probably deal with the normal ones first. I don't think I have anything at the moment. Oh, the laser multi-tool. If I can hit him with that, that might stop his regen. Obviously, it's just a crappy tool, but I think that's the only thing that's going to kill him right now. I think he's the only one left. Let's test this. Laser multi-tool. Also, because the laser multi-tool is actually a multi-tool, it's a wrench as well. Technically, I can keep that on me. This as well. If I can hit him with this. Um... Okay, my food is very low, so my stamina is low, so I have to be careful of that. It's just him out here. Come on, dude, where are you? My senses have picked up something. So I have to have him come up here for us. And then just before he gets over... Uh, so that took us two hours to clear out this hall just now. I mean, it's okay, but it's still not great. There's no way... Okay, back him with this. His healing should stop. Yep. See, since it's a, a technically a laser tool, that's awesome. <laughs> since it's technically a laser tool, we can take down Empowered as well. Only problem is if the Empowered can vomit at us. Oh, we're going to have such a hard time. Please, need some good gear. I have to come repair this as well before the next horde because they've done way too much damage to the stairs. If this caves in, we have a massive problem. Oh wow, the loot sucks. But so far we've been getting very small wandering hordes. Frequent? Ooh, hazmat boots. We've been getting frequent hordes, but very small hordes. Okay. Nothing else. We did slap a few over here, but I don't think they dropped anything. Okay, guys, I'm just going to call episode here. If you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback will be down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.